Go. Hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Al Tabeshi. Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad al -Tabishi. my colleagues are... Fahad Abdelkirim, Adrhan Al-Sheikh, Sana, and Faisal Al-Assam. We are going to show you about Mr. O. Henry, William Sidney Porter. He was a famous writer. Mr. Fahad, please break a leg. Early life. O. Henry was born on September 11, 1862 in North Carolina. According to O. Henry, I did more reading between my 13th and, and my 19th years than I have done in all other years since. Jobs at age 15, O. Henry's formal schooling ended and he took an experience at his uncle, uncle pharmacy. At age 19, he became a lens pharmacist. This job choice was ironic since O. Henry began suffering from tuberculosis around that same time. The writing begins shortly after his marriage in 1887. O'Henry began perfecting his short stories, which he previously had written simply to entertain his friends. To pay the, the bills, he took on a job as a banker and as a worker and, and as a reporter and a occasional cartoonist for his Houston newspaper. Uh, later life, Porter's uh, most uh, Prolific writing period started in 1902 when he moved to New York City to be near his publishers. Uh, eventually, O. Henry wrote around 300 short stories, 65 in 1904 alone. Uh, during his 10 years uh, literary career, nearly all stories included his signature surprising ending or snappers, as he called it. Snappers, O. Henry's own life was full of twists and turns, making his interesting interest in the surprise twisty endings uh, and, uh, understandable. Philosophy on writing count. O. Henry exemplified his uh, philosophy in his very, very, very variety of life experience and travels North Carolina, Texas, New Orleans. He escaped the police who tried to arrest him on false charges of embarrassing, embezzling 1,000 from the bank where, uh, where he worked. Went to trial, he was found guilty and uh, was st sentenced to five years in a feder federal Penitentiary in Columbus, Ohio. Upon release after three years for good, for good behavior, went to New York, where his popularity as a writer is sought. Thank you, Lars. Uh, now we will show you the most uh, uh, top books written by O. Henry. Of course, Cabbages and Kings, this was his first uh, book. Uh, Retrieved Information, A Service of Love, the, uh, the, the Ransom of Red Chief. The Gift of Maggie and the Cup and the Anthem. First of all, uh, received the Reformation, it describes the event which le led up to the reformation of an ex-convict. A Service of Love, pub published in 1897, it is a fa fascinating novel. The Red Ransom of Fred Chief. It was the first story ever published in the Saturday Evening Post. The Gift of Money. It talks about a young married couple and how they deal with the challenges of buying a Christmas gift with their very little money. The Cup and the Anthem. It includes several of the classic elements of an O. Henry stories, including a setting in New York. Of course, everybody calls him O. Henry for his pen name because his pen name was written O. Henry, but his real name is Mr. William Sidney Porter. His nationality is an American citizen. 
Mr. Porter's short stories was known for their wit, wordplay, characterization, and surprise endings. As a child, he loved reading everything from classic Stendhal novels. Porter graduated from his aunt Evelyn Maria Porter's elementary school in 1876, then enrolled into Lindsay Street High School in 1876. Porto's most writing period started in 1902 when he moved to New York to be near his publishers. He wrote 381 short stories. Porto, Porto got married in 1907 to Miss Sally Coleman. Unfortunately, Mr. Porter's health deteriorated in 1908, which, which affected his health. Mr. William Sidney Porter died in June 5, 1910. He was buried in the Riverside Cemetery. Now we will show you the video of Ohani's biography. Okay, we would like to ask the students some questions and every student who, uh, who answers correctly will receive a gift. What is Ohandi's full name? What? Uh, that is... Uh, that is correct, Saleh. Please step up to the podium. Next question. What what was his first work? What what was the first book? No. Yes? No. A publisher. No. What was the first book he published? Okay, Cabbage is in the King's first book. Okay. Why was he called O. Henry? Noah. Okay, that is correct. Last question. What year was he born? On which year? Yes? That's check. Wrong. Yes? Yes? Wrong. That's correct. <laughs> Okay, because nobody knew uh, what, what was his first book, what year Mr. Lord Porter died? Yes? Huh? <laughs> yes? That's wrong.
Yes. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Step down, please. Line up right here in front of the panel. Right here, please. Uh, before I start giving the feedback, I just want to make a comment that it was Muhammad Tubeshi's work rather than the whole group. What seems to be the problem? I mean, it's Muhammad Tubeshi, Muhammad Tubeshi, Muhammad, excellent Muhammad Tubeshi, but we would like the others to participate as well. Uh, somebody pronounced the word licensed incorrectly. Licensed. Licensed. Uh, common sense dictates that when you want to read something in front of an audience, you have to practice reading it over and over so you can read it properly. Okay? So, uh, tuberculosis, tuberculosis, a cell as a disease, tuberculosis. Uh, 10 year literary career. You said 10 years. No, it's 10 years because here it's an adjective. It was written 10 years and still you said 10 years literary career. Again, it means you didn't do your homework. And the title said C-O-N-T. You said count. This means continued. Okay? It is continued. The poster is great. And if I were you, I would have used some of the information on the poster as PowerPoint presentations. And uh, on the poster, you don't have to read all the details because the audience will grow bored, okay? So just flashes of the information. You've exerted a lot of effort, Mr. Tobeshi, but you did not work as a group, okay? Thank you very much.